Well, I suppose I really must Where are you be. going? I thought I might calm down to buy me lunch. I won't be in for lunch. No, you told me. Did I? Yes, last night, remember? You're going to Mrs Cassidy's. Well, it isn't just Violet. It's some friends of hers she wants me to meet. Uh, relations, really. Cousins from Canada. Staying with her. Yes, you told me. Well, if it was just Violet, I could put her off. Oh, goodness, don't worry about me. You go off and enjoy yourself. Perhaps your father would take you out to lunch. Yes, that's what I thought. Well, I'll see you this evening. Fine. Pat, I'm leaving. What? I said I'm leaving. What do you mean you're leaving? Leaving what? Your father. I'm leaving your father. What's happened? Nothing's happened. Look, something must happen. Nothing's happen. happened. Well, you can't just say you're leaving as if you're going out to lunch. You mean there's someone else? What do you mean, someone else? Well, you're not going off on your own, are you? Why not? Mother, I'm grown up. If you've fallen for the milkman, then... Of course there's no one else. Who else could there be? Well, I wouldn't know. I don't know what's been going on around here. Well, there isn't. Has Daddy? No. It's just one of those mature, adult, agree-to-live-apart things. That's about it. Just like that. What do you mean? Just casually, on a Sunday morning, I'm leaving your father. He'll probably take a flat in town. Well, he can't stay on any place this size, can he? No, I hadn't thought of that aspect. <sighs> You'll sell it then. Huh? The house. Oh, yes, I suppose so. And where are you going? To Violet's for lunch. No, no, no. I, I meant huh? when you leave here. Oh. Well, have you given it any real thought? I'm going to London. London? Oh, why not? But, Mother, what are you going to do in London all by yourself? I'd better go, dear. I don't want to be late. There must have been something, Daddy. I mean, you don't just decide to leave home. You don't really know your mother very well, do you? No, I don't. It's her decision. She knows what she's doing. But does she? She seems so peculiar, the way she talked to me. Well, she's been a bit on edge lately. Mm. Daddy. Mm -hmm. There isn't anyone else, is there? For you, I mean, that Mum wouldn't want to tell me about. No. Well, that's something anyway. Yeah. Thanks. You upset about the house? Well, of course I am, but... But what? Well, I'm more upset about you. I'll see just as much of you as before. It won't be the same, though, will it? It'll probably be better. Oh, I suppose if it's been like that, it's better. After all, you're both mature, responsible people. <coughs> you know what you're doing. Daddy, what's she going to do in London? She wants to take a bar exams. Well, you mean go back to the law school? Why not? She nearly qualified, you know, when we got married. But at her age? She set her mind on it. You'll keep an eye on her, won't you, Daddy? Yes, of course I will. From a distance. She knows what she's doing. Does she? Of course. Well, you should know. Have you found your flat yet? I thought I might have a bit of a holiday first. Well, I haven't had a decent holiday for years. Your mother's never cared for travel. Where? Well, actually, I know where I can lay my hands on a boat. Oh, won the pools, have you? I used to be mad about sailing once. Hey, Jake Cohen says I can borrow his. It's only gathering dust down in the med. Mm -mm. Barnacles, Daddy, not dust. <laughs> yes. Sounds like heaven. Yes. Fly down to Rhodes or Athens. Cruise round the Greek islands for a week or so, then we could drift up the Italian coast, finish up in Venice, we? spend a few days there. You've never been to Venice, have you, Patch? You'd love it. You know, they have street lights in the sea. 
<laughs> Daddy, I couldn't possibly. You've earned a holiday. I'm having one now, remember? You can't count this. It's all that's due to me. At St. Angela's, yes. Oh. There are a few other places, you know. And when I get back without a job? I could find you a job. A bit more generous, perhaps, in holiday allowance. Thanks, Daddy, but no. I mean, I'd love to come, really love to. But no. Why not? Because I need something to hang on to. <laughs> While the world crumbles around you? My world, yes. Is that the only reason? For what? For nursing. <sighs> well, it's better, isn't it? Than trying to hang on to people. All on your own? Yeah. Yeah. Run out of small talk? No. Well, it is rather parents' night, isn't it? Well, what's happened to all your friends? Didn't you ask any? Well, you do rather lose touch. Aye, you do. Yes. Well, that's the price you pay for independence. But it's worth it, though. Yes. 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 She told you, didn't she? On Sunday. Tell me what? About the divorce. What divorce? Well, she said she told you. No, she didn't mention divorce, just that she was going away. Well, it rather follows, doesn't it? Yes, I suppose it does. Don't be too upset, Pat. It's the best thing that could happen. Yes, of course. Much better to make a clean break the way things are. I've been so worried about her, Pat. You only have to look at her, don't you? I'm glad that she's got you. Well, I'm not really very much use. You know, she can't live on her own, not the way she is. And it won't be such a sacrifice for you, will it? I mean, so much better than all that sordidness you have now. Legal work's so interesting. And you'll be able to find a lot of legal work. What's to stop you qualifying as well? If you're helping her study and working as a secretary, when she goes into chambers... You, you have decided all this, haven't you? I haven't the faintest idea. But she, she told me that she discussed it all with you and that you were as keen as she. No, I'm sorry, Mrs. Cassidy. I think there's been some mistake. Would you forgive me? I'd better have a word with her. I think I'll be back. And I mean, Sharon is such a sensitive girl, isn't she, Mrs. Rutherford? Such an odd set of young people. Beards, you know. Uh, those awful shoes that clobber the Mrs. Morrison, I'm terribly sorry. It's rather urgent. Thank you. Mother, what have you been telling Mrs. Cassidy? Uh, how do you mean, dear? I mean all that nonsense about me taking up law. Oh, it's just an idea I had. I thought you might like to be my secretary when I'm called to the bar. But it's awfully nice being a secretary in chambers. Well, you could have had the decency to mention it to me, couldn't you? Before you started announcing it to all your friends. What else have you told? Well, it was just an idea I Mother, had. I can't do shorthand. I can't even type. Well, you can learn while I'm studying. Anyway, they have those dictating machines Mother. nowadays. You could go to secretarial college while I go to the law school and we could study together in the evening at the flat. We'd have a wonderful what? Flat. flat. For your flat in London. But it's tiny. We could find a bigger one. Mother, are you out of your mind. Look, I'm sorry, it's quite out of the question. I won't even go to Greece with Daddy, so how you can imagine? Greece. Yes, Daddy's taking a yacht and he's asked me to. Mother, what's the matter? Mum? Nothing. What should be the matter? No, it's just that you went a bit odd there for a minute. So. No, nothing's wrong. Well, you, you do see, don't you? It's yes. Cool. It's yes, so satisfying, dear, knowing that you're helping people, knowing that you're doing something worthwhile. So satisfying, isn't it? I'm sorry? Your job, dear, nursing, dealing with people who are suffering. I've been having this trouble with my back. It's never been the same since I had that fall last year. The doctor said then that I shouldn't lift things. But you can't avoid doing that, can you, dear? Of course, it probably goes back to when I had my last. Of course. You know Sharon, don't you, dear? Sharon? Oh, yes, of course. H how is she? Do you think that I ought to, dear? Ought to what? 
Morrison. Excuse me, Mrs. Morrison. Uh, the Hendersons are just going. Have you seen Mellow? Mm, she went upstairs. Mm. Lift things. I'm sorry? Well, it doesn't hurt exactly. Not at the time. But then you never know what harm you might be doing, well, do you? Why, why don't you just have a word with your doctor? Oh, he never seems to have the time, dear. And then he's so young, he just doesn't seem to understand. I thought, perhaps, seeing that you were on holiday, you oh, could no, perhaps... Oh, no, I'm sorry, I couldn't possibly. But then you do do physiognomy and all that, don't Pat, you? Pat, excuse us one moment, Mrs. Morrison. For God's sake, get rid of this lot, will you? Your mother's ill. But why, at a time like that, with all those people here? Daddy, what did she take? Some sleeping stuff she'd been saving up. Yes, but what? How the hell do I know? I gave it to the doctor. Oh, God, at a time like that. Did she say anything to you? No, nothing. She didn't leave a note? No. To go off without a word to anyone? She didn't say anything to you. She was talking to you, wasn't she? Oh, yes, but only about her. Oh, my God. What? Well, she had some crazy idea about living with me in London. Did you tell her you thought it was crazy? Oh, yes, of course, but... Well, you don't mean... She didn't try to kill herself just because I said... No, I love, it wasn't that. It's not your fault. She'll be all right, won't she, Daddy? I mean, the doctor said she'd be all right. Oh, yes, she'll be all right. I should have warned you. Warned me? What do you mean? This isn't the first time this has happened, is it? No. More than once before? A few times. But she's never actually... No, she's never really risked dying. You sound as if you almost wish she had. All I've wished for is some kind of freedom. Daddy, is there someone for you? There was for a while. Was it serious? Yes, very serious. Do you still see her? No. Not since the first time you... The first time, Mother. Yes. Why didn't you tell me? What could you have done? Well, have you seen her since? This whoever it was? Sue. No. What happened with Mother after that? I thought she was over it once Sue went away. She started to take an interest again in her legal work, talking about going to London. And? I encouraged her. I thought it was for the best. All I wanted was some life of my own. She can't bear to be alone, you see. She was so confident this time, so full of plans, so excited about going to London, taking up her career again. Well, there's no question of that now, is there? No. Unless... Unless what? This idea of hers, of living with you in London, I suppose you wouldn't consider it. I know it's a lot to ask. She doesn't want me, Daddy. <laughs> That's an absurd thing to she say. She never has. What? Not even before I was born. What gives you that idea? Uncle Jim told me. What could Jim possibly know? Don't try to protect me, Daddy. <sighs> it wasn't such a shock as all that, you know. I never could understand why Mother was always so polite to me. I mean, there should be more in a family, shouldn't there? There is with you. It was a long time ago, Pat. Yes, mercifully. Before abortion became so fashionable. I'm sure she'd never have considered that. Are you? It was just her career. No, she felt that it... no, no, Daddy. She might have told you that, but she was lying. There's only ever been room for one person in Mother's life, and it wasn't me. It's not what I wanted, love. Don't think that. I don't. I wish I could help. So do I. Oh, Daddy, so do I. I chuck it all in gladly. I'd do anything if I thought I could help. But I can't, can I? No, love, you can't. <laughs>